everybody! Hi! Welcome to story time! Can you guess what time of year it is? It's the end of the fall season. The trees are naked. The leaves have all fallen off. The corn is out of the fields, so we traded in our scarecrows for dancing turkeys. Do you like my hat? Yeah? <laughs> I think it's pretty silly. Hello, silly turkey hat. Well, we are going to talk about a very important day called Thanksgiving. What day is that? It's Turkey Day, right? That's what everybody calls it. Turkey Day. We eat turkey, mashed potatoes, and gravy, and stuffing, and corn, and all the vegetables that have been growing in the fields that we've harvested. Turkey Day. Hmm. I think there's more to it than that, don't you? Right, it's called Thanksgiving because it's the day we give thanks. There's so much to be thankful for this year. Even if things are a little strange and different, we still have so much to be thankful for. What are you thankful for? Those are good reasons. I'm thankful for all of you. If it's not just Turkey Day and it's a day we give thanks, who are we thinking about? Well, you have to go way back in time, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And there were a group of people called the Puritans. They wanted to be pure of heart, so they were called the Puritans. We now call them pilgrims because they traveled to another land. But they didn't call themselves pilgrims. They were looking for uh, freedom to worship and freedom to serve God the way they wanted to. The people in England, King of England, didn't like that. So they had to move and they went to a place called Holland, which was a nice place and people were really nice to them and they could worship and live however they wanted to there. But their children started to forget the English ways. They didn't even know they were English because they lived in Holland. So the Puritans decided to find a new land across the ocean, across the ocean, <laughs> and they traveled on a boat called the Mayflower. Have you ever heard of the Mayflower? Well, this is a poem about their journey. Would you like to read it with me? It's called Off to Plymouth Rock. It's by Dandy Daly McCall and illustrated by Jean Beretta. It's a beautiful book. Are you ready? You see their ship? Remember what it's called? The Mayflower. Okay, let's read the poem. This is a Thomas Nelson publication. Pilgrims flee, sail the sea, knowing there's no guarantee. Leaving, grieving, still believing, off to Plymouth Rock. So they're leaving everyone they know behind. They know they'll probably never see them again. Very brave people. Mayflower ship, dangerous trip. Waves that rock and winds that whip. Crashing, splashing, lightning flashing. On to Plymouth Rock. It's a very long ocean voyage. And there was a very big storm. It almost sunk their ship. They had to fix it on the way. Shouts of joy, cheers from every girl and boy. Steering, veering, there's the clearing, on to Plymouth Rock. Can you imagine not seeing land for months and then finally seeing land? What a great celebration that would be. Sawing beams, work in teams, building up their pilgrim dreams. They got there pretty late in the year and it snowed a lot. Many of them got very sick. Blizzards pounding, snows abounding. 
here at Plymouth Rock. Massasoy, Indian King, sees the pilgrims suffering, shivering, praying. They're still staying here at Plymouth Rock. They are determined. Do you see the turkey? He's hiding in the snow. Probably doesn't want them to eat him. Watchful Squanto understands, shares the secrets of the lands. Wanta was a very good friend of theirs. He taught them how to plant and grow foods. They went through the whole winter. They planted the seeds they brought with them on the boat. With Swanto's help, I think they're doing okay now. <gasps> Digging, hoeing, corn is growing here at Plymouth Rock. The pilgrims learned about kinds of corn that they had never seen before. So yummy. Pilgrims call, one and all, come and celebrate the fall. Pumpkins, cherries, turkeys, berries, here at Plymouth Rock. <laughs> the tree, that's silly. Glad to share, bow in prayer, harvest blessings everywhere. See what's happening? The pilgrims have made friends with the Indians and they're having a great celebration, thanking them for their help. Humble living, first Thanksgiving, here at Plymouth Rock. Wait a minute, how'd the turkey get away with that? Well, they did eat for three days, so turkey, you better look out. He's still running. Oh, there he is. And there's the pilgrim hugging Plymouth Rock. If you travel to New England, that's the part of the country that's in the Northeast. They called it New England because they came here from England, the European settlers. But there were many, many native people already here. And if it weren't for them, the pilgrims wouldn't have survived. Did you like my poem, Off to Plymouth Rock? What do you say we do a fun Thanksgiving activity? We're going to make a Mayflower garland. That's a decoration you can use for Thanksgiving. You can print a template off of DLTK Kids, or you can sketch your own like I did. The important thing to remember when you're making this is that you're not going to be cutting all the way through. These parts here are going to be folded. Once you have your template, you can get your paper, which I'm going to use a paper bag. You could also use brown construction paper, just whatever you have. And you would cut a strip, if you're using construction paper, you would cut a strip this long, and then you'll glue them together when you're done. Because it's pretty hard to cut them if they're already glued together. And then Once you have your template drawn or printed out, you're going to cut it out. This part is called the mast of a ship, and it's the tall part that holds up the sails. And the mast, what almost broke when the pilgrims were traveling across the ocean. Now I'm cutting out the part of the boat where the pilgrims and the other passengers lived on their crossing of the ocean. That's called the hull. And this is the mast, and these up here are the sails. Keep cutting till you have your template cut out. Once you have your template cut out, you're going to take your brown paper bag and you're going to cut 
cut it in half and make two strips. Or if you are using construction paper that's brown, you can just cut that out into strips as wide as your template. I'm using the Mayflower because it makes me think of the pilgrims and the Native Americans in celebrating the first Thanksgiving. But you can use anything as a template. You could use orange paper and make a pumpkin or red paper for an apple garland. And if you're watching this video and you're by yourself and you think this might be too much for you, you can do any easy craft. And there's tons of links I can put in the video description. Measure out your template. Create your strip. Cut that long strip out of a paper bag or your small strips out of construction paper that you're going to tape together. Then you're going to take your paper strip and you're going to fold it. You ever heard of an accordion? You're going to fold it in accordion style. So take your little paper strip and make sure your accordion is just the right size. Okay, so now that I have my fold the right size for my shape, I'm going to start accordion folding. Accordion folding takes a long time. I suggest using separate pages method and then taping them together after you cut them. It might be too hard to cut if you folded the whole bag like I'm trying to do. Trim it. So it's to the right size. And here we go. Now you take your template, put it on top of your accordion paper, and you're going to trace the template. That's what a template means. It's your pattern or your sample. Trace it all the way around. Remember, you're not going to cut these edges. That's what's going to make the garland or the banner. We're going to have a Mayflower banner by the time we're done. See that? I have an accordion that I'm going to turn into whoop, a Mayflower accordion. Be sure not to miss any parts of tracing. Remember, if you want something simpler, you don't have to make a Mayflower. You could just do a pumpkin or an apple shape. And now we cut. Remember, don't ever cut where that fold is. It gets kind of hard to cut if you have too many layers like I'm trying to do. I have to tell you, I've never made a paper garland before. I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like. Cutting out another sail and along the mast. Okay, this is the tricky part. You don't want to cut through your mast. Be very careful. Is it starting to look more like a boat? A sailboat that the pilgrims would ride on? I'm on my last section. Don't get in a hurry, because remember, you don't want to cut all the way through. I've never made a paper bag garland before, so I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like. We're going to see it for the first time together. Are you ready? <gasps> wow, look at that! Won't that look great hanging above my Thanksgiving dinner to remind me of the brave pilgrims traveling across the ocean to meet their new friends, the Indians. Did you like that? That was super fun. I love to make things with you. I hope you'll send me pictures of what you made. Well, that was just one of many, many stories that have been written about the Puritans, also known as the Pilgrims, and their Indian friends or Native Americans who were here long before them. And we're going to learn lots about them all week long in story time. I'll see you next time. Bye.